if you missed me because I've missed you guys I know I've been a bit angry I know I haven't been as a freaking as a man as I'm supposed to be but ah, a lot of things have been happening behind the scenes and that's what this video is about but I hope you all are well is it excited for Christmas because I certainly am I'm so excited you don't even understand the except I am this is going to be just a short video so get your hot drinks. Look at me, my drink. Can you say that? Get your hot drinks, get your snacks, and just come and unwind and chill with me. Mm. Yeah, so chill with me. So, this I did. Let me just get into it because I'm just so happy with everything. So, this video is. The purpose of the video is because I did an Instagram poll and I asked what you want to see. A lot of people said relationships, girl talk and just general chit chat. I thought okay I'm going to combine them all into one video and get everything out there so you all can see. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing. That's what I've done. But anyway, um, yeah without further ado, I, yeah I'm going to start this video. I'm a little bit all over the place. But that's me, I'm a little bit of a freak, you all know that, so yeah, hope you don't mind that. I've got glasses on because I have written down of what I want to cover in this video just because I don't want to forget anything because you've all have asked for these certain things and I don't want to miss anything out for you guys, so I want to be nice and cool. So yeah, um, the Instagram poll, the first section is going to be relationships and when I was younger like so the first section of relationships <clears throat> everyone's perception of relationships are so different but for me when I was younger I used to see movies and everything and people used to be so in love and I thought oh my gosh I want that and now I'm with someone <clears throat> like it's not like the fairy tale it's just actual love do you know what I mean and I think these movies make you doubt your own relationship in a way. Do you get what I mean? And coming from a home where my mum and dad weren't together, I really didn't understand relationships that well. And I think that what <clears throat> that's what's made me who I am today. So this relationship situation is not just boyfriend and girlfriend. It's relationship between friends, family, everything. So, as a young child, for me, seeing just your mum and not your dad, you always, you always have, it's like your heart has got a hold, like in that, like, like what's going on. And when I was young, I used to see my friends. My mum and dad used to pick them up from school. <clears throat> my mum couldn't because my mum was working, so it would be my granddad. And that used to upset me, that my dad was never there, like my two parents weren't, weren't there to pick me up. Like at school, um, school performances, it was always my granddad, and it was like, oh my gosh, where is my dad? Like it really upset me. Like I knew my dad, and I knew why he left everything, and I was really, I was, I resented him for it. I really did because he left without saying goodbye. I was two when he left. No, I was one and a half when he left, and I hated him for like. 18 years and then for my 18th birthday he came back threw me a massive party invited all my friends brought me my prom dress everything and then went again and then came back in in and out like in and out like a spot i want to say that he comes in and out like a spot so <clears throat> he used to come in and out when he felt like it and that made made, made me um you know question relationships because when you meet someone you must care that they're going to leave you like your dad left you because that's always in the back of my head now if someone like with andrew i think he's going to leave like my dad left me is he going to leave Cairo like my dad left me that's always in the back of my head it makes you think <coughs> so little of yourself do you know what i mean like if parents break up fine that's absolutely fine I think you should still be in child's life. I don't think you should just dismiss your child and start fresh, have a new family and leave your 
other children to fend for themselves because it's not nice. Like a father's meant to be there for their for their like their kids and everything. And I think because he wasn't there for me, it's made me such a strong person. It's made me know looking in a partner, I want someone who's gonna even if we break up, he's gonna be there for their child. Do you know what I mean? My dad, like the only thing I can the only thing that I can praise him on is he made such an amazing child. Which is, he did. He just. Do you know? You know what I mean. It's so weird. He's made me who I am today. Like I have such different emotions on family life because because of him. Because he wasn't in my life. I I adamant like I had to have that male that male bond with his dad, he needs that. I never got that with my dad, so I looked elsewhere. My granddad, for instance, my uncles, I looked elsewhere just for that, that attachment. And I've got daddy issues, I'm scared. And I tr like, he did try to come back in, and I let him, and we were having a good relationship, and then he just left again. You know what I mean? So that's put my God massively. I'm scared if I ever let anyone in, they're just going to go. It's horrible. And what I'm trying, what the point of this is like, if any of you are in the same position where you, um, you're with your dad or whatever, and your dad just leaves and you want to give him another chance, really think about it. Because when my dad came back, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I've got a dad again. And then, I let my guard down and I got so emotionally attached when he left it brought me even worse like when he left when I was one and a half that was fine because I didn't really know anything but now I'm 22 I know and it's heartbreaking do you know do you know what I mean it's, it is horrible so I'm just it is the worst thing ever so and in like I used to watch um I used to watch movies and I used to see um kids and their dad used to be like their best friend took him in, in bed at night and I was like oh my gosh I want that and I never got it and it got me so emotional like I used to cry myself to sleep I still do it now sometimes I'm like what, what did I do wrong my dad not not to want to know me like did I do something that bad like I was one and a half and he just left like, it makes you, like, think, what did you do wrong? You feel so crap, I tell you. It's the worst feeling ever. And I look at my son now, and I would never want to leave him. So what made my dad look at me and be like, I can't be bothered. I don't want to be in this kid's life. You get me? It's, it's horrible. Like, my child was the best. And such a loving family. But what all, what's all that when the person you want is not there? Like, it's horrible, isn't it? Even now, I'm still craving that relationship. And I know he's never, ever going to change. He's never, ever going to value my love. Why am I still craving it? Why? That is the question, Siobhan. Why are you still craving his love if he's not even bothered about you? That is, that is what, <laughs> that's basically what it is, isn't it? You know, that's basically what's going on. I'm just holding on to something that's never going to happen. It's, it's horrible. I can't put my glasses back on. Oh my God, what it is. And that, I think because of he was such an arse, he's gave me like this negative outlook on men itself do you know what i mean he has made me like oh men are trash and that's not the case just my dad's trash not men in general my granddad is the best man ever like i would kill my granddad i would die for my granddad he is he's my dad didn't give birth didn't you know but he's my dad and he's everything to me like me and my granddad's relationship is above and beyond what like the version me and my granddad have is like 
what a dad should have with a child is that close. And I love him to pieces. Pardon it, and I think, you know, my, I speak to a whole of my granddad, I think my dad would get jealous of it. it it's horrible. I think when, like, growing up, it made me feel so insecure, thinking everyone was going to leave me like my dad did. I still feel so insecure now. Like, I'm sitting there, and it's me and Andrew, like, walking through town, and I just hear, like, oh, such a pretty girl. I'm like, oh, my God, he's, he's going to cheat on me with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's that insecurity that I've got, which I need to deal with, really, because these daddy issues are a mess. It's really messed up my life. It really has. And not anyone that's going through something similar with their parents, you need to deal with it. We need to deal with it because it can mess up our future relationships. Like, it really can. And I've decided now, um, I've decided now that I need to do more self-love. I need to love myself so much more than what I have because I keep giving him a second chance and I know I shouldn't, you know what I mean, because like, what is he doing, he's just letting me down, he's just letting me down, like he's not even man enough to be, be there for me, like, like, like why isn't my relationship like, why isn't my dad like any other dad? Why does he want to be in my life? That is, that is the issue. Why? What have I done so bad? You know what I mean? It's horrible, isn't it? Why am I getting so bad? Look at this. Like, I sit there and I'm thinking to myself, um, you didn't yet ever love me like did you, you even care because even though now i'm still begging for you like you, you can't even blink an eye it's like you just don't care completely i'm just like well i don't really do that like you know if you could just wipe someone out of your life i wish i could do that if you could just wipe so, like wipe him out out of my memory maybe that would be better and this, this is why Christmas is such a big family thing for me because family is so important and I've grown up with just a loving family, a loving family is that, and Christmas is that important, that time where you share that extra love for your family. I don't want to actually share that extra love for me, I want him to actually be like, I love you. But he's never ever told me that he loves me, ever, ever. I told him that I loved him and he was like, okay. Do you know what I mean? How horrible is that? <laughs> How horrible is that to hear, like, your child, you say that she loves you and you just reply, okay. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Like, you really don't love me, do you? You just, I think I'm just there when you're lonely. Do you know what I mean? I'm just not. I don't mean nothing really, do I? But that's basically what it is, because do I really mean anything to do? I don't think I do. Because obviously, if I did, if I, meant, if I just meant a tiny bit to him, he would obviously want to be there for me, and he's not. It's a simple fact, isn't it? He's not there, and I've got to deal with that. i got to deal with it like a pro. I don't know, like a pro, I just know, I am where I've seen much more, so guys, girls, people, if you're ever going through something where one of your parents can't, doesn't care about you, just remember that you're worth it, you're worth so much more, if I don't care, I don't, why do you not deserve you, but don't, like, come on, like, but don't, you're so, you're worth, like, a million compared to them, you tell it girls and boys, you say it, you're worth more than I could ever imagine because you are you. You are unique, you're gorgeous, you're amazing. I'm just saying, I'm saying how it is. Like, 
I just thought this out. Why would you have children if you don't want to be in the life? Like, tell me now. See, but that, that's where's the logic? Having kids if you can't be asked, then where's the logic in that? Hmm, don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's really cold now. Uh, like, why would you even bother? What do you mean in the life if you just can't be asked? Like, oh, it's frustrating. Oh my god. Why am I getting myself so emotional? These, these, what people, these polls that I, polls, poll, these questions that um, were asked, it's really hitting home. Like, I'm actually thinking about it, and it's getting me upset. Like, think about it. Wow. What am I doing? I just know when life is so hard. In the media, you make things make you feel worse. Like I sat there and cried because I saw, I've seen um, a movie where the parents are always together like, eating, eating food, and I sat there and cried and be like, okay, I want that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't got it. <laughs> I ain't got that. But I look at it like this: in life, there's, there's always someone worse off than you. And I sit there and think, okay, I'm doing okay for the moment. I've got, I'm healthy. I've got a baby. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Just sit there and get upset because I'm doing good for me. I am. So, there. I don't need you, boy. <laughs> I don't need you. I'm fine. Look how good at. Okay. Sorry, guys. Got a phone call. Yeah, I'm just like after I've, I've achieved so much i've got my own home i've i've graduated from uni i've got my own child of my own child i've got my son like i don't need my dad if he does not want me like i'm fine like i'm living my best life like my message out here is just love yourself enough to walk away from anything that's not serving your purpose if something is getting you down making you think less of yourself than remove them like uh, this is what I'm doing starting from new year I'm going well from this month through November now we're moving to December soon shortly I am removing any negativity from my life like my dad for he's I begged him to be like, I begged him like I just got on my knees and I begged for a chance not a chance but like for him to be, to be a dad, I begged him and he sat back and he was like, ignored me. So I was like, okay. So from the new year, I'm not begging, not begging any longer. I'm not begging for his attention. I am just going to be me and just live my life. I don't need that. I don't need that negativity. I don't need to be sad and that sadness bounces onto my son. I just need people in my life that need me. My message to you guys is just love yourself enough to walk away. You don't need these people in your life that don't want you in your life. Don't have it. You, you deserve more than that. You're better than that. Let me tell you, you're better and stronger than that. Life can knock you down. Life can throw so much obstacles out your way. But if you're strong enough, if you're determined enough, you can overcome anything that life throws at you. Like, I sat here telling you my story with my dad and how he's treating me, crying about it. But now I've got that from my chest. You know, you guys are my best friends and I've told I've got that from my chest now. I don't need to talk about it anymore. I don't have to go into it. I feel better already. So guys just remember you are worth so damn more than that. Just remember. Also um I received a question um, yesterday on Instagram about um, how do I know how did I know I wanted to have a baby with Andrew and I was just like um, I don't know how I knew I just done it I just had a baby and I just hoped for the best <laughs> and it's the worst advice ever I could give but yeah make sure you know the person long enough because I'm not saying anything but Having a baby does not keep a man. So make sure you know that you both got that strong relationship, that strong bond before you even consider having a child with them. But I just know 
Like, I knew I wanted to have baggy this person. I knew it. So I did it. <laughs> so what I can say to you guys is, you know, you, you're not, if you know, you're not. You're not. You know, okay guys, that's the end of this video. It's a bit all over the place, but I, I've answered some of the questions that you've all asked. I will be be more serious about this and be doing my original schedule. I'm sorry, it's a little bit, it's a bit late, but this is like, it's about two o'clock now, and this is about 11 a.m. So I'm gonna hopefully upload for about five o'clock tonight. I'll try. And yeah, I love you all so, so much. Thank you for believing in me, for being there for me, for checking up on me. If you ever need anyone to talk to, text me, DM me, anything. I need friends. Well, I've got you guys. So you, I've got enough friends. I've got you guys. But thank you. I love you all. Bye. Please subscribe. Bye.